Hello everyone, my name is Ajay. Uh, this is the second video of the C Sharp coding interview questions. So before watching this video, I strongly prefer you to watch my previous video uh, where I was explaining you and mean where I was asking you a question like how to sort the list of integers without using the predefined sort method. So and in the same video, I was at the end of the same video, at the end of the previous video, I was also asking you to sort the list of strings. Uh, without using sort predefined methods so in this video i'm going to explain you how you can sort list of strings uh, without using the predefined sort method so before that friends uh, i suggest you to pause this video here and just try on yourself like sorting list of string uh, by for i mean just pause the video here and just try to write a solution right try to write a function uh, your own function for sorting list of strings and just post your solution in the comment section so that i can go through it and also all the viewers of this video can go through your solution anyway i'm going to explain you the solution but uh, there may be many solutions right we can come across all the solutions if you find any different just please post in the comment section of this video so so I'm just continuing this uh, the same code which I've done in the previous video. So you need to go to my previous video before watching this video for having a clear understanding what I'm doing. So here I was asking a question for the next video like I'm having list of strings. So I'm having four list of strings, four strings in this collection. So I have to sort them on the ascending order like uh, A have to be in the top order, next A, B, C must be in the second next b b a must be in the third and next b c b b in the fourth position why because not only the first letter if the first letter is same between two strings then it have to go for the second letter of the string and it have to compare so it is that way so at the end you have to sort them in the ascending order so it's nothing but like on the desktop if you go and right click and you if you go for option like sort by there you can find the option as name if you do sort by by name then it will sort according to the string file name strings i mean the file names are like strings and it sorts according to those file names in the ascending order that's the same thing that we are doing here so to start with it is the same flow again so for sorting it each and every time i have to uh, compare each of this element with all other elements same like the previous video like how we compare each and every integer of that collection with all other integers and uh, do the uh, swapping if the condition matches whatever condition we are giving if that condition matches we have to swap the element so that way we can do the sorting method so for sorting integers so i want to do a small modification here to the same function so i'm passing in our list of strings here and i want to have a temp string which is of the temp variable of string type and here for a string we cannot directly compare this way whether it is which string is greater than which so for strings you need to use string dot compare it's a predefined method for comparing two strings okay so this compare method actually so compares two strings like string a if you see string a and string b and after comparing the two strings it gives the result in the int int, uh, int data type which is nothing but it gives in the three types 0 1 and minus 1 so if these both strings are equal then it gives the output as 0 if this string is greater than this string i mean if this is having a and if this is something with a and if this is something with b starting with b then it will be this string will be less than this that is minus one and if this is a if this is starting with a and if this is starting with b something then it will give one as the output nothing but so it's simple i mean if these both are equal then it gives zero if this is greater than this it gives one if this is less than this it gives minus one so that way you can compare both the strings so i'm checking if it is less than zero means if the output is minus one then i have to swap it so nothing it is nothing but this is less than this so when this is less than this then i'm swapping them so you i mean i explained all these things in the previous video how exactly uh, each time how we are comparing each element with the other elements and how we are swapping it 
so if you follow my previous video definitely you can understand this very easily so this is nothing but i'm comparing two strings here and if it matches the condition that i'm giving here if it is minus one if it is if it is minus one then i'm swapping it else i'm not swapping it that's it so that's it friends and so here yeah, you can see this is like before swap now let's run and check whether it's working or not before sorting and i want to uncomment this one and the cell i want so after sorting so let's run this and check whether it's working as expected or not Control f5 so here you can see before sorting i'm having bc bb abc bba a so after sorting let's see it's a a came in the first first place abc came in the second place bb a came in the third place bc bb came in the fourth place as expected see a, if the first letter is same then it goes for the second letter so based on second letter this one is less than this so it sorts in that way so if you see each and every it, each and every swap we are having these things like in the first swap so if you see in the first uh, swap the bcbb which this compares with all of the elements of the collection so first it compares with abc so and then it compares with bba then it compares with aa so if anything matches then it swaps so that way each and every element matches uh, compares with each and other element of that collection and if that condition matches then the swapping occurs so that way it, uh, that way we get this result finally so that's it friends this is all about this video and if you like this video please like this video and also subscribe to my channel and also you know what uh, you know what in the next video so here i'm using a predefined method compare right so in the next video i want to ask you a question how you can compare two strings without using this compare predefined methods it's nothing but simply write a function like the function to compare two strings and return the result in, in type so like public int i compare string s1 comma string s2 so return zero if both are equal minus one if s1 is greater than s2 and one if s2 greater than s1 so now i'm giving as return zero so this is my question for the next video friends so you need to write your own compare method and you need to compare two strings and return the value in the int format so if the if both the strings are equal if the both strings are same you, then you need to return zero if the both if s1 is greater than s2 then you need to return as minus one if s2 is greater than s1 you need to return as one so that is the question for the next video friends so i hope you understand this video and you like this video so please subscribe to my channel for getting all the updates and notifications like this and also the reason for me to make all these videos is that if you go through this video you can definitely improve your c sharp coding skills especially the programming skills uh, the technical skills in programming how actually the predefined methods are written we can come across how actually these predefined methods in dotnet are written so that way definitely you can increase improve your c sharp programming skills so that's the reason i'm making these videos also uh, thank you friends for watching my video if you like this video please subscribe to my channel uh, like this video and also 
uh, if you have any questions and if you have any queries please post them in the comment section if i go through them i'll definitely give you the reply or else the viewers of this video other viewers of the video uh, will definitely help you if you have any questions thanks a lot for watching my video friends thank you have a good one